It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. On V103. Time for the Trending Topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's start right here at home in the ATL. Bobby Christina Brown still continuing to fight for her life at a rehab facility in A. According to the latest update from her grandmother, Sissy Houston, who spoke to Entertainment Tonight, she said Bobby Christina's condition remains, quote, unquote, the same, and that she's not, quote, progressing at all, despite last month's report that the 22-year-old had awoken from a medically induced coma. Sissy, the mother of the late, great Whitney Houston, also reacted to the decision to name Pat Houston and Bobby Brown as Bobby Christina's legal co-guardians. She says they are, quote, a family that works together for the best. As for her granddaughter's future, Sissy says she's quite not... She's not quite gone yet, but whatever the laws decide, she's ready for her. Um, Bobby Christina was found unresponsive back in January on the 31st. We'll keep her in our prayers. Let's move from one Brown to another Brown, this one being Chris Brown. The stalker was found naked in his bed, will be charged with three different felonies. For breaking into the singer's home, Amira Ayeb pled not guilty Friday afternoon. How do you plead not guilty to being in another man's house in his bed and with graffiti and food all over the place? But all right. Um, She was charged with stalking, vandalism, and burglary. Really? You're not guilty of those three charges? In any case, the woman who's believed to be mentally ill allegedly spray-painted Mrs. Brown on some of Chris's cars, wrote I love you on the kitchen counter, and made herself at home, helping herself to the singer's pantry. The judge put in place a protective order uh, requiring her to stay away from Brown for three years. She remains in police custody. Really? How could you? Who's? No, I didn't do that. Wasn't me. If she can say that, I can get caught doing anything and say it wasn't me. And last but not least, somebody who Chris made an album with, that would be Tyga, continues to go back and forth and have drama after drama with his baby mama and his girlfriend and the family. So there was an alleged story that Tyga's grandmother recently did an interview where she slammed Black China and gushed over Kylie, right? She said all this good stuff. Apparently, Black China's mom caught wind of that uh, interview. And spazzed out on everybody. <laughs> so she said, uh, Tiger's grandmother allegedly said Kylie had a quote unquote better family, like than Black China's family. Just listen to this rant, please. This is Black China's mom talking. They are talking Kylie comes from a better family. How? Her parents are divorced. Her dad wants to be a woman while her mom is out here messing with some young black dude with birthing hips. Her sister has three kids out of wedlock by a guy who has a drinking problem. Her other sister's married to a crackhead. Wow. (laughs) While dating a rapper, she stole from a former friend. She's 17 and has already had lip injection. Her older sister got famous from a sex tape. They are no better than anybody. Shots fired, man down, and Black China's mom, you have the best rant of 2015 and 2016. Damn. Tiger responded, said, you got to stay up to social media. My grandmother can barely speak English. How would she say all these things? She said, King is the bigger picture. Please keep the peace for his sake. And then Black China said, well, do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Do as you say. And don't address family issues on social media. Messy, messy, messy. We'll find out as the story develops. That's going to do it for the trending topics. Miss any part? Head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it in entirety, you can also see my wow Black China's mama face. You the man, you the you the real MVP. <laughs> this is the trending topics on V103.